Hello, and welcome to this Columbia College Library tutorial on searching with Google Scholar. Now, before I started this video, I went ahead and linked up Google Scholar to the Columbia College Library catalog, which gives us access to any of the full text availability we have at Columbia. A lot of these academic and scholarly articles end up behind paywalls, and if Google Scholar knows what's in the Columbia catalog, it can provide us a link to get there using our Columbia access that we wouldn't be able to do if we were just anybody on the internet. I've linked the video of where I explain how to do that in the description below, so if you just hop down to the description below this video, I would recommend checking that out because it will make um, it will make you get the most out of your search results using Google Scholar. So keep that in mind as we move on with the video, but I'm going to get to searching. Um, first of all, to get to Google Scholar, it's just scholar.google.com. Really easy to navigate to there. And it gives us a very inviting search box, just like Google. So let's say that we are searching for um, some scholarly treatments on like body image and social media. So maybe I'll search body image and Instagram. Just like Google, it will correct my terrible typos. And now we have a Google res search results um, that look really similar to what we'd get in a regular Google search. There are some differences though, so let's talk about that. First of all, we can filter by date range over here. It gives us some options to choose from, but we could also say, I don't know, I'm looking for anything after 2012. If we hit search, that'll narrow down to more recent results. We also have these links along the side, and that is where we are able to get the full text access to these articles. Google Scholar is really cool and that it pulls results from all across the internet, so we have all sorts of these results, but not all of them have these links. If I was to click on any of these articles, it'll bring me to a page, like let's click on this first one. It brings me to the page of a publisher, which gives me an abstract, gives me some dates, gives me some information about citing it, but I don't have access to the material because it's not there for free. These links on the side, either these free PDFs or these get it from Columbia Shies that I got from linking to our catalog are ways to get the full text of an article. So if we want to, I don't know, let's say grab this one. If I hit it from get it, Columbia Shy right there, that'll link into the Columbia Library page where it shows that we've got it available online through this EBSCO host source. And we could go get the full text of the article there which we wouldn't have been able to get to otherwise. But let's head back to the Google Scholar search results, and I want to talk about some of these extra little doodads on the bottom. If we click on this um, citation here, we can get different citations. We can just copy this um, MLA citation. We've got that there. We don't need to worry about formatting it correctly. It's already up. There's also options for a related article search, which is stuff that Google says is similar. They're not always right, but it's sometimes worth a, worth a peek for sure. But the most useful thing by far on Google Scholar is this cited by count. We have this cited by 309, cited by 152, cited by 158. And these will enable us to see results that cite this article. So 158 articles since this 2018 article came out have cited this research by Clemens and Dalmans. So if I click this cited by 158, I have 158 results that are all articles that used that um, article we clicked on, this one right here, the picture perfect, in their own research. And that can be really great if we know that we like what this article has said. Now we know we have other research that, are, that have learned from that and also liked this research. We can also search within these cited articles. So we have these 158 results, but let's say we're looking particularly for something that has to do with these manipulated Instagram photos and depression or other mental health issues. Let's search for depression. And now we're down to 81 results that specifically pop up for a keyword search for depression within that article. That can really help deepen your research. 
So that's really um, the great stuff that we have for Google Scholar. And I want to encourage anyone, if they have any questions or uh, need any other help with research, go to the Columbia College Library site. That's just library.colum.edu. And you can ask a librarian. We've got this live chat or email right at the top. And we are more than happy to help you out. So hopefully this video was helpful and uh, happy searching.